So if you watched my previous video unloading a pallet from my SUV, which is always a bad idea, I didn't have ballast. I have ballast now. And I've got three crates of parts that, according to the bill of laden, or lading, it, they all together weigh 13.35. Now, I've already, on this one, uh, weighed it with my crane scale, and it came out to 428 pounds. So, you know, these all roughly weigh uh, the same, uh, but this one's 428. So what I'm going to do, we know that this, uh, well, I'll show you. Let me get over here. You can kind of see it here. It's it's just at 250, 250 psi. That doesn't mean it weighs 250 pounds per se. It's really that's the amount of weight that's there with the forks. Now with the bucket, it's 200 psi, so the bucket weighs less than the forks. These are 42 inch forks. This frame is too big for this tractor, but it is. Well, well it, came, it actually came with the tractor, so that I'm, I kept it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up, uh, 428 pounds, see so what the difference in pressure I get, uh, do some quick math, and then I'm going to stack all three of these together. This one's a little bit beat up, so I'm going to stack them on this one and uh, see if how close to 1335 we get. Uh, with our math. Now yesterday the pallet I was lifting actually was really narrow. It wasn't a, a 36 inch pallet. So it was actually about the same distance from the pin as the bucket would have been. So I think that's, you know, it was close to one to one. I expect this to be less than one than one to one. What I mean by that is one PSI is probably going to be like 0.75 or something like that because the weight is going to be further distributed out. So you're gonna to have to benchmark this. If you if you end up with one of these, uh, you're gonna to have to benchmark this with uh, with forks and with a bucket because you're gonna have different uh, points of leverage effectively and so it's going to be different. So let's get this one and see what a pressure reading is. I'm gonna push all the way in. Try to be level here. So uh, make sure I've got it. Trying to get it to the point which I will be. That's about 850 to 900, I'll say. So 850. Let's say 900 minus minus 250, 650. So 428 divided by 650, uh, 0.66. What if it was 850? Oh wait, 428 divided by uh, 600. It's 0.71. So uh, you know, depending on exactly, we're gonna go. We'll go with with 900 well it's hard to tell we'll see we'll see what it is so that's say point well let's just say 0. 0.6 we'll split the difference let's say point it was 0. 0.658 and 0. 0.71 so 0. 0.675 0. 0.675 okay let's now i'm gonna stack it let's stack it on this one so i'm gonna leave this one here Come on. Not the same as using, oh my goodness. Not the same as using a proper forklift.
one. If I can stab this one better than I did that one. Uh-oh. Pallet fell apart. This may not be a good idea. centered as possible because this honestly I'm not sure if I can well I know I should be able to lift it off the ground Oops. all the way in here oh, for a second here hmm. That's probably one of those things that you should have, I should have, or I should not do it. Huh. It's kind of... Stick that in there, kind of get us some... Maybe, maybe. Let's see what happens. It's not going to go very high anyway. So... Let's see. Alright, so I'm gonna try to curl it back just to see if I can actually curl this much weight. Should be 1335. Nope, can't curl it. Let's see, let's start lifting. That's about. Trying to get it where I guess it probably needs to be a little more level. At my weighing height. There we go. All right. So 2250. So this has the 1.75 uh, 1.75 inch bore cylinders on it. So if you had you know, 2,500 PSI. This one happens to be set to 3,000 PSI. Let's see here. All four wheels are on the ground. You know, some pretty good tire squat there, you can see. Um, but it's off the ground. So 1,335, 2,000 PSI. So 2,000, because it was 2,250 minus the, uh, minus the 250, so 2,000. Uh, the, no, times 0. 0.675, 1350. So according to the build on lading, 1335, we get 1350 on that. That's pretty close. That's actually a little closer than I thought it was going to be. Um, I'm happy with that. That's, it, I don't know that anybody really needs to know exactly how much weight you're lifting, but I can't tell you, it, it, it's kind of fun to know. <laughs> I mean, if, I'm still doing a little bit of experiment experimenting um you know obviously i know that this works i'm just trying to make sure that there's no uh you know i'm putting a product out that says says that it does this thing and uh that it just making sure there aren't any hiccups like oh you can do it as long as you know this or that or whatever i learned so anyhow um we're already back on the ground because it is that heavy uh that's probably as high as i want to lift that that's what i would say but again, well, you know what? Let's just do, just for fun. Yeah. And that's off the ground with me not on it, which I'm quite a bit of ballast. There's no, uh, 
no fluid in the tires, just the backhoe, which is you know, 600, 650 pounds, which I have a, a B expanded bucket on there, so that's a few pounds less. But anyhow, uh, there it is, 1335, 1.75 inch cylinders, and the new, still yet to be named product that actually got the weight right. Thanks for watching.